Greetings, Dari Jones. We're back. I'm very excited again. DJ and Y, Dari Jones New Yorker 2, is sold at Sweetwater. And we're in the studio today. I'm excited about this part because, as you know, there's other people that work at Sweetwater that play drums. And I want to give them this opportunity to play behind my configuration and see what they come up with. Ooh, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> you want me to just jump in? You can. I mean, there's there's a couple <laughs> options, but you know, if, if you're feeling, you know, that you can, you, you know, you're ready, you're ready, you're ready to go for it. The traditional grip that's how you feel well i watched a video on how you play so Dang, you got you got the grip down pat this is crazy what like what made you want to set it up like this it's definitely um a, uh, a tribute to old school drummers like buddy rich sure. um gene krupa philly joe jones yeah, awesome. not you know I, I took it you know i tried to take it to to another level but i remember seeing the jazz drummers you know the buddy rich and, and they, they played with the angles back in the days and um because they play traditional grip. As y'all know, there's two different grips. There's the match grip and the traditional grip. And um, when I saw them playing it, the, the, the drum, the snare drum was tuned this, I mean, was um, angled this way, yeah. you know, to match the, the master grip. And I was like, man, what can I do to like, you know, switch it up? And I, instead of doing it sideways, I made it, made it frontwards. I just kept adding on. This is um, awesome. Thank you, thank you. This is awesome. My original setup, when I transformed into this kit, it was, um, I remember seeing Questlove from The Roots. Oh, he's great. And he's really dope. And I remember him seeing him playing hip hop and he only had a snare drum and a floor tom. And when I started becoming a hip hop drummer, I didn't feel like I didn't need all the, the five piece configuration. Sure. So I downsized my kit. But as you know, like, well, in the hip hop community, it's all about having, a, having your own identity, being original. So I was like, man, I don't want to just, my kit to look like Questlove. So what can I do to give my own identity? So what I, what I did was I started angling the snare drum first because I played the traditional grip. Instead of doing it sideways, I, I did it frontwards. Then one day I was like, man, what would happen if I do the floor tom? So my floor tom used to be on this side. Uh -huh, yeah. But just to fast forward, my latest configuration, I remember having the stems out because of the angles. And, and I remember um, my peeps in Nashville, they was like, man, you should add some percussions. And it just yeah. made sense. The LPs, you know, they all yeah. fit. So, you know, the, the reason why... It's that way is it, so I can play percussions with the drum kit. So that's awesome. I can get a little bit more. How there. long are your sticks? That's what I want to know. That's a good question. I feel like I can't reach them. Well, these are actually 16. 16 by... Okay, so just no, 15, 15. Oh, those are 60. short. Those short. are short. Wow. Short. short. This kit, it forces, it forces me to be creative. And I had to. I feel like it, it makes me be intentional. Yes. So when I go do that, that fill, it's got to count. Otherwise, you're going to fumble. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Woo. This that, is crazy. <laughs> that swing is that swing is sounding thorough. That's that's what's up. It's really cool to, just to hear it within this tuning context. Yeah, like I said, this drum setup, you gotta be intentional. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because yes. it's not easy. Everything is not easy to get to, but Delaney, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you.
Thanks for nice trying out the you. DJ NY too. Likewise, likewise. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, you too. Cool. You play? I do. Like yeah. professionally or just in, as a hobby? A hobby plus. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's good enough. So yeah. we're gonna see. We're gonna see what you're All working right, with, cool, brother. Cool, man. <laughs> so this is, you know, as you know, the, the DJ NY two, and it's, it's a versatile kit. But we want to see what you, how you do in in, in my facet with the angles. So All let, right, let's, cool. Let's see what you got. Yeah. Junk hat. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Just take, just take, your time. Take your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your time. And also, um, all of the, the, the like the rack time can be turned into a snare drum if you if you want to try to reach it. Just the snare throw is on the left side, so just turn you know yeah right there. And then the bottom fourteen can be also a snare drum. Yeah. They're all snares. Yes, sir. <laughs> As a hip hop drummer, you better have different different <laughs> that's sounds. Pretty, yes, that's dope. No. So maybe try playing this as a hi hat and then using that snare as, as you know, this guy. Yeah, main yeah, snare. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So it makes you kind of think, you know, a little bit differently, right? Yeah, way differently. What do you think about the time, the, the tones, and the sound? It's cool. It's uh, I love the bass drum. I love the tonal difference. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you have the three different snare drums to work with. So like, you know, all the stuff you do, the wide sort of assortment, you can you can get all the sounds you need out of it. That's cool. These are cool. Love the junk hats. Yes. Yeah, it's cool stuff, man. All right. Get comfortable. You, 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 like if you want to, if you want to retune the, um, you know, reclutch the hi hat to, to make it tighter, whatever you want to do. Okay. That's what, I just want you to be comfortable. Yes. Yeah, oh, this is the junk hat. Yes, sir. Oh, dude. You familiar? I saw your modern drummer rundown. Oh, where you talked about okay, it. okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have a pedal to it or is it all no closed? no it's 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 made to be closed okay. or you can open it a little bit but it's oh, I, I use it as like another hi-hat like when I'm playing a junk hat yeah exactly exactly I use it like you know how you you up you know you use your foot to go up and down with the hi-hat yeah I use it as a chick like to make it sound like a clap oh dude I'm with you okay So are you are you tilting your body constantly when you play this kit, or is it all about economy? Emotion? That's a good question. So I'm an animated drummer, you know, like watching cats like Gene Krupa and all those guys that yeah. you know that move around Death and um, Def Flair. So this drum kit makes me it's like it's like a workout, like when you're at the gym, you're doing squats. So oh you, sure. So I'm just like becoming the drum. Yeah. So I'm just moving, and, and, and what what I tell people playing this configuration, I have to be intentional. You know, if I'm going to do that feel, it got it got to make and that sense. That tom's in there, yeah. 
So your Jack White kit, you had the SPD. It was a lot more. Yes, yes, sir. So I have a lot. I have I have the Roto Times and taking it back to the eighties. And then I have the. Have you heard of the pancake? The pancake drum. Oh yeah, the big twenty. Yeah. So normally that's used as a gong drum. People they normally use it to the side. I was uh -huh. like, man, what could I do that I haven't really seen people do? And, 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 and actually, I use it as a low tone because all my drums are tuned really high. Uh -huh. So I needed to have that bottom like a floor uh -huh. tom. Yeah. So it's tuned. It's tuned like almost like a like a like a bass drum. Oh yeah, and I have the the rolling. The rolling because if we use it like on the latest record, it's the first time Jack used samples. samples yeah. So you know I had those for the and then I had the one shots, you know, for the claps and oh, the other yeah, yeah. sound effects. Yep. So yes, not sir. everything is acoustic; it's samples too. It's a it's a it's a, it's a bag of everything. Okay. And my drum kit, like I say, um, you know, when you're doing the job, you want to have all the tools that you need. Uh -huh. So we had to learn almost a hundred songs. Oh wow. Of all the catalog, you're talking like White Stripes, Dead Weather, and and um, I want to have everything that I need in case we play the Pacific. A Pacific song I want to sure. make sure I had. There. The March and Snare drum for certain records oh, yeah, and yeah. another, t you know, I just wanted to make sure I had everything to work. Nice, Dude, man. So I, cool. I I can appreciate your power and like definitely when you do something, it's it's a, it's a statement. And so, yeah, thanks a lot for checking Dude, it out. Absolutely, my pleasure. Yes, nice to finally meet you. Likewise, likewise. Okay, well, this is the Darby Johnson Yorker too. It's a it's a genre bending kit. But today we're gonna see how you do it with my setup. You know, I know it's a little 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 might be a little bit different than what you normally play on, but. I just wanted to let you know that the, all the drums can be made into snare drums. They're actually a throw on each one, so you have the freedom. Yo, there's like, there's stuff there, there's stuff there. <laughs> yeah. There's, that's got stuff. Toys. That's got stuff. Little, little flavors. That's got, it's all got stuff. So take your time, you know, you ain't got to, you don't have to hit everything, but just, you know, see what you can see, you, you can give us a nice, nice something. Oh, man. This is different. It's a little different. <laughs> hey. Oh man, this is cool. Okay. And then, mm -hmm. okay. What? So does both? Okay. All right, we're gonna figure this out. <laughs> I got a stretch. It's a little more exercise than usual. There's, there's more. <laughs> it's Woo. like working out at the gym. Yeah, I got to start working out at the gym. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay, okay. I'm getting, I'm you did to get it. In there. This though, uh, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little big guy. Maybe choke no, you, up a you, bit, you, you, yeah. you, you had it going. I like the versatility and, and the different fast to slow beats that you did, and it was, <laughs> it was solid. I know it was, it was a little, take a little bit of adjusting, but you, you, you got it. Yes. It's easy when everything. It's easier to get to. Yeah, but here it's like no, you have to decide. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, got a lot of decisions. I have to use my brain. <laughs> Not yeah, a lot of decisions, know. but a little decisions. Yeah. So uh, let's see. I'm really impressed with what you've done. Thanks for trying out the kit. No, thank you. This is awesome. I got a good one. This is cool. So this is the Darby Jones New Yorker. This is the, the new um, Sweet. kit with the, the the blue fade. And one of the features, the main features, is all this, all of the drums can turn into snare drums. Oh, they sweet. call them snoms. Nice. So if you, they all have, 
you know, the, um, the snare throw. <laughs> just, you can turn it on and turn it off at any point. And don't feel like you gotta play everything because this, okay. this is a physical, Wild. this is a physical drum kit. So just make yourself comfortable. Okay. That's wild. Wow, that was dope. Do you have a favorite beat that you like to play on this? I want to see it. You want to see it? I want to see it. Oh, man. Okay. Um, wild. Thank you. Thank you, Didi. My nephew, Big Quavo. Um, yeah, he's here for the first time, and um, I've been watching him since he started, I think. <laughs> now he just turned, you know, I won't give his age away. He's still a youngin, but he's a killer, and I'm, I'm really curious to see. Is this your first time playing in my, on my configuration? Yeah. So, I mean, let's, let's, let's see what you got to say, brother. All right. Neff? <laughs> Man, I got you. My job is taken. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's cool. How do you how do you feel playing this this type of configuration? I mean, it's cool. It's very it's different. It, <laughs> they have you thinking a lot how to, what you what to do, but it's cool though. Okay, so 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 now that you pass the test, you know you're going to graduate to the other configuration, your normal configuration, just so I can see. Gotcha. So yeah, my nephew Big Quavo, I'm excited for him, and um, but yeah, let's see what you sound like on the on the regular. I'm curious to see what you're going to do in your regular. It's like your regular format, right? Yeah. Cool. Let's uh, let's see. You don't have to do. You can you can you can do whatever you want to do. So, gotcha. Big Quavo, you got to make it count. Let's see what you got. Gotcha. That's how you feel? 
Man, can I get lessons too? Big Quavo. <laughs> How you feel playing on your regular configuration? No, I like it most definitely. It's very nice. And um, any any versatility with the with the snares? Did you try the, the snares on this one? Yeah, the I different tried options. This one. Not okay. this one though. This one's cool though. Okay, so would you add this to your your collectible um, your definitely. collection? Most definitely. Okay. Yeah. How many drum kits you have now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yo, thanks for pulling up. Yeah. Word. Looking forward to see you do your thing. Yeah. Most importantly, you know, with the drum kit. Gotcha. Big Quavo Anderson, y'all. All of the moments are special, but this is very special because it's dear to me. It's my family. My cousin, Eugene McBride. Gino, you know what I'm saying? He's here. Yes, I'm so excited just to see them play on the Dobry Jones New Yorker Part 2. Is this your first time playing on the kit? Yes. Dang. Yes, so, Gene, he's, he's been playing with an artist named Mama Soul and, and a lot of other artists, but I'm really excited to see this versatile um, lad, cousin of mine. <laughs> I, I, I also saw him coming up from, from the beginning, so yeah, I'm just excited for him, I'm proud of it, all the th stuff that he's doing. You can check him out on Instagram, but what you got to say on this kid, um, cuz? Oh man, I gotta practice. <laughs> Yo, Eugene McBride, check him out. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see you play on this configuration. So we, we, we also want to do the same thing. We want to switch you okay. to the other version so you, you know, you can really get busy. But oh, yeah, man. any words? You gotta get a kid. Thank you for having me, man. <laughs> yeah, like you have a great set, man. Like it's amazing. Like I love everything about the set. Thank you. Please go get his set, you guys. Like it is crazy. <laughs> it is crazy set up. Appreciate you. Yes, cool. Sir. That's what's up. Eugene McBride, I'm curious to see what he would sound like. Is this like your normal configuration, sort of? Yeah. Yep. So, as y'all know, the DJNY 2 is a versatile kit. You know, you can tune it high or low. If you don't play with the angles, if you play it this way, it, it, you can still get the job done. So I'm curious to see what my cousin's <laughs> gonna do in this type of format. I want you to, I want you to get, let him, let, let him, you know. Okay, see, okay. See, 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 see what the creator's giving you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, can I get lessons? Whatever, <laughs> You're Jamie McBride. Yo, it's so good to hear you on this, on this format. I appreciate it. Wow. Oh, my God. Did y'all like that? I liked it. It was really cool to see how each drummer, you know, they, they, they figured out how to use, you know, every part of the drum. And, and, and they just adjusted to it. And that's what, you know, being creative is. And um, I'm glad that they didn't run away from the drum kit. 
they just they, they they took the time to figure out what worked for them and they, they brought their own vibe. So a big big shout out and thanks to the Sweetwater employees that tried out the DJ and Y2. And now it's your now it's your turn. So I'm curious to see how you set it up. You don't have to do what I'm doing, but I'm curious to see how you set it up and how you tune it. And hopefully we'll see this at your gig and your rehearsal. But thank you guys for tuning in today. My name is Darby Jones. Yeah. So if you're interested, go to sweetwater.com and get right. We have some available. Thank you guys for tuning in. God bless. Peace.